Hey guys, Michael with armchairbuilder.com here. Hey, in our last Armchair Builder video, we talked about the recessed outlet and how it can do wonders for wall-mounted TVs, digital photo frames, and even furniture placement in your home. Here I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install a recessed outlet with a switch for lighted crown molding or for lights above your kitchen cabinets. Let's take a look. So we're gonna turn a single gang switch into a double. So the first thing you wanna do is turn off the circuit to the existing switch. Now you can remove the switch plate and the screws at the electrical box and pull the switch out. Use the new two gang box to mark where to cut the drywall. Carefully cut the drywall with the utility knife or drywall saw, making sure you don't touch any wires. Cutting a wire can pierce the wire insulation and create a fire hazard. So now remove the old electrical box by prying it off the stud next to it. Now we can cut the hole for the new electrical box at the top of the wall. We want our outlet to be as high as we can go without cutting the wall framing. So we measure down 2 and 3 8 inches from the ceiling to mark the top of the outlet. Make sure you keep the new outlet in the same stud bay as the switch so you don't need to drill and fish wire through the studs. Also be sure to use the correct wire. We have a 20 amp circuit so we'll be using number 12 wire. So we need to feed the new wire down from the new hole down to the switch location. We use a remodel electrical box that has tabs to grab the back side of the drywall for easy installation. A screwdriver is all you need to tighten the box into place. So we remove a knockout in the box, pull the wire through, and then secure the new electrical box into place. You can see here that we will have a drywall repair because of the placement of the existing wires. You should be able to avoid this, however. Now we can install the recessed outlet just like you would any other outlet, connecting the ground, the hot, and the neutral wires to the outlet, and securing it to the box with the screws provided. Now we will install the two gang electrical box at the switches, remove the knockouts, pull the wires through, and place the box into the wall and tighten the screw tabs so they grab the drywall. Now you can connect the wires to the switches, splitting the hot wire from the existing switch so you have two hot wires, one for the new switch and the other one for the old. So here's a quick diagram showing how we wired this up. So that's about it for our recessed outlet and double switch installation. Stay tuned next week as we show you how to create this really cool, inexpensive indirect lighting with crown molding. I'm Michael with armchairbuilder.com.